Welcome to the Windows 10 and Computer channel and um, I will actually address something that I've seen as a big uh, issue for a lot of people installing the May 2019 update and this isn't just a problem for the May 2019 update it's actually something that is been there for a long time and it's the install time how long does it take for Windows 10 to install itself when there's a new version. And we're going to talk about changes that happened from the first version of Windows 10 to what we are installing today. So, first of all, when we got Windows 10, the major time of install was we had to, you know, leave our computer on and for hours, for some of you, several hours, you couldn't use a computer because it was installing a, you know, a version of Windows 10. That was really annoying because you couldn't use your PC. Now Microsoft has done an amazing job at making that downtime, the time when you don't use your PC because it's updating, to a real minimum. Now a lot of you still don't understand that when you click the download and install and you see that there's that install phase going on, forget about it. Work with your PC, use it, do whatever you want. It's doing what it needs to do in the background. And what you're doing on your PC is not really interfering with it. So that's the first thing. A lot of you are just like, well, you know, it's been four, four hours now and it's stuck at 74%. Leave it there. Let it do whatever it has to do. You got absolutely nothing to worry about. It takes a long time. And I have a few of you that have problems that I think is related to the fact that you decided to just shut down the PC while it was actually doing stuff and that of course can break the install itself so when you click the download and install button and you start seeing the progression of you know Windows 10 May 2019 update start uh, you know processing the information downloading the, the uh, Windows version um, and then you see the progression and percentage what you need to know is that it doesn't matter leave it alone do something else go surf the web use your programs whatever you do usually let it do what it needs to do you might see that your PC is a little slower but that you don't have to look at you don't have it's not like when you installed Windows in the past where you were sitting down and waiting and seeing the percentage go up and doing nothing the install phase of Windows 10 is very different today and that means that difference means that you can now use your PC while it's installing it. The actual install time, the time where your PC is actually going to be doing the install and you can't do anything, is very short. In most cases, less than an hour. In some cases, less than 30 minutes. Um, my install time on this PC here that I'm using that phase when I couldn't use my PC, I think, was 25 minutes. But yes, it took hours for the first phase, that time when it's actually doing something in the background. But once again, leave it alone and let it do whatever it wants. One of the biggest problems of people installing Windows 10 and installing the May 2019 update is they look at that screen. And then they end up saying, well, it's been an hour and it's at 74%, so it's stuck. No, it's not. 99% of the time, it can be stuck at, you know, 74% for two hours. It's still doing something. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Now, of course, depending on the machine you have, it could take several hours. I was looking at some of the comments telling me how much time overall when you look at all the phase of install of Windows 10 May 2019 update. Some of you out there took up to eight hours for all of it to complete. So that means... For probably seven hours, that background install thing happened. That means if you didn't wait that time and decided, oh, I'm going to shut down the PC, it's probably stuck, you are possibly breaking the install. And you're possibly creating your own problems. And that's one thing that people have to think and, and, and stop uh, going crazy about. Just leave it alone and remember that that thing is not meant to be, you know, you, you don't have to be looking at it. Leave it 
doing what it needs to do. And you know what? At some point, you'll have a pop-up, and, and it's going to say, well, it's time to restart and install the new feature update. When that pop-up gets there, now you click there. That's going to take 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour max. It's a pretty short install once all of it is done. So be patient is the number one thing that you need to know uh, when you actually install the May 2019 update. Depending on the machine you have, it could take an hour, an hour and a half. Some of you have said that the total install from beginning to end was, you know, an hour. Some have told me it's eight hours. That means, depending on the speed of your PC, the speed of your hard drive, if you have a regular hard drive or a solid-state drive, times differ. Just let it do what it needs to do. And you'll see that it's, you know, uh, even better, let it do it overnight. If you're obsessed with the percentage times, you know what? Click that download and install before going to bed. And when you'll wake up in the morning, you'll have that little pop-up that's going to say, hey, we need to re restart the machine now to uh, install the uh, May 2019 update. Just be patient. I think a lot of people are creating problems because they're just not patient enough. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.